2023 had got to the end of May without seeing an image of the floor, and I was ready to don my tinfoil hat. When the cars were lifted by the cranes in Monaco, all the tech nerds were overjoyed by the prospect that we were going to see the floors finally. Lifting the cars three stories into the air may have been a bit unnecessary, but they gave us some nice long lens shots and some flat images. This started a flurry of analysis on the aerodynamics with a wide variety of accuracy. I'm not going to do this here. What I noticed was the high angle the Mercedes hung, much higher than others. So what can we learn about the Mercedes hanging in the air like this? I think it could say something about the center of gravity. So I proceeded to find the approximate location made possible because Mercedes hung at such a high angle. I put the images in my CAD software and I'll let that run while I go through the process of extracting the center of gravity or COG. With these cars, the COG is highly regulated. With the weight distribution required to be between, as the regulations put it, 0.45 front and 0.54 rear. Assuming that Mercedes runs the longest wheelbase possible, like they have done for the last 10 years, because it maximizes the floor area for the downforce, it is 3600 millimeters. This means that there's a window of 54 millimeters, which is 1.5% of the wheelbase. Just finding the angle of the car hanging won't be enough, mostly because the COG is set with the driver sat in the car. Obviously, the driver isn't in the car when it's craned three stories into the air. The driver weight is now mandated to a minimum of 80 kilograms. No driver weighs 80 kilograms. 5 foot 2 Sonoda doesn't weigh 80 kilograms. Hamilton, whose car this is, weighs 73 kilograms so he needs to carry at least 7 kilograms of ballast in the cockpit. How this contributes to the height of the COG needs an educated guess. And while we're making guesses, we're going to need to work this out for fuel. Not just the placement of the fuel bladder, but how much it is carrying. Fuel is located as close to the COG as possible, which has been done probably since COG was known to impact car performance that is, since the 1960s. When the fuel is consumed, having it at the center means that the car's balance will not shift. Specific to the Mercedes is the height of the fuel bladder. Packaging was one of Mercedes' strength in previous regulations, and they have cutouts in the monocoque for the radiators, displacing some of the fuel volume low in the car. This will raise the center of gravity just a bit. Back to the image of the car in the air, and now I have found the line intersecting where the car's mass is acting through. This line intersects the plank in the center at 41.6% from the rear axle. Finding another side on the image with a long lens, we can find where that corresponds to the wheelbase. From here, we can get the hanging angle of the car. This method is a little easier than trying to rotate the hanging car in space. A little work was needed to find the center of the car as there is some perspective to consider. From here, it's not difficult to convert the CAD dimensions from taking the wheelbase to be 3.6 meters to then find the plank length and therefore the position of the hang line intersection. Given that distance, the intersection is about 1310 millimeters from the rear axle. Now, somewhere along this line is the center of gravity for the car suspended from the roll hoop clear without the driver, the center of gravity doesn't exist within the regulation length as the point of intersection is unrealistically high when it does. Here I'm going to go through both the impact of the driver and the fuel so we can take those into consideration when we finally get the height of the center of gravity. The driver. The 7 odd kilos of ballast exists in the car, so the 73 kilograms of Hamilton will be counted as missing, moving the weight distribution box back. Working in the plane view, normally the 798 kilograms is attached somewhere here. Now for a number of reasons, I'm going to guess that the COG is as far back as the team is comfortable and say it's 1610 millimeters from the rear. The logic is, first, these cars are rear aero dominated. Second, there is a large gap between the engine and gearbox. Finally, teams were mounting ballast at the tip of the nose where they can distribute the least amount of weight for the most amount of distribution. 
Now I'm going to use a slightly concerned looking Lewis to find his center of mass. Typically a male's is located around the belly button. Seated he would be balancing a bat on his tailbone. The height doesn't matter but it's probably here. 2.35 meters from the rear axle. So subtracting the moments about the rear from the overall mass we get the new mass 175 kilograms located just 1.35 meters from the rear axle. As mentioned before, adding a little bit of fuel should raise the center of gravity position just a little higher. I'm not sure it will be that much higher. Contrary to the principle of lowering it as much as possible in a race car, Mercedes has compromised this with how they run their side pod heat exchangers. But I might argue that it might not matter as much, because having the fuel a little higher, or not as low as possible, it may not be optimal for a low fuel run, but maybe there'll be less change in the relative height of the center of mass over a full fuel run. Anyway, this means that there is no reason to lift the center of gravity from where it's intersecting the hang line, which is about 136 millimeters above the bottom of the plank. Hamilton's center of mass is about 135 millimeters. Again, this doesn't actually move the center of gravity. After all this, the center of gravity is about 330 to 40 millimeters above the bottom of the plank. Above the ground, in an unloaded car, it's about 170 millimeters, which is a bit above the axles. Finally, it was also apparent that the red ball crane into the air hung significantly flatter. I doubt that the center of gravity is much different, but overlaying the red ball on the Mercedes, the roll hoop is much further back. Counting the pixels, there is about 140 millimeters difference. Mercedes is about 50.2% forwards at 1.81 meters. And Red Bull is 46.2% at 1.67 meters.